Let's try these in an example. In this example, we can see how pushing laws can affect a query plan expressed in RA3 format. Similar to an example we saw earlier in this session, we are going to use Movies Database. We want to find out which stars work for which studios in 1996. This is a rather complex example regarding push laws because we first add a select or push it up and then push it down using the same push law. Our query involves a view named Movies of 1996, as you can see in the create view statement here. Our figure A shows the RA3 constructed from this query. The left side is a subtree for the view, joined with the movies table and the projection of the star name and a studio name applied to the join. The push law usable here is the push law on join, saying the selection on a join may be pushed to one argument or vice versa. By algebraic laws, we push up the select so that it is applied to our join. Then we push it down so that it is applied to the movies table as well. Our final query plan will be the improved plan depicted in figure B. Another set of helpful laws are laws involving projections. Introducing projections improve query plan as they reduce the number of attributes involved. Projection laws are not push laws, but they're introducing projections when appropriate. We may introduce a projection anywhere in an expression tree as long as it eliminates only attributes that are neither used by an operator above nor are in the result of the entire expression. So, for example, the first law here says that we can project each of the relations of a join before performing the join. The second law is the same for theta join. And the third law indicates prior application of the project for arguments of the cross product. Projection laws are usually less useful than the pushing selections in the RA trees. Now laws about joins and products. We already mentioned that commutative and associative laws are applicable on joins and products. Additional laws on joins and products include equality of a theta join or equijoin with selecting the same condition on cross product of relations. Also, the list of attributes returned in a natural join, which is the list of common attributes, could also be produced by projecting those attributes after theta selection with the condition of the equality on the fields. In practice, we usually apply these rules from right to left. We also have laws for duplicate elimination as used in distinct, and laws for grouping and aggregations. Duplicate eliminators can be pushed through many, but not all operators. We can sometimes move duplicate eliminators to where they can be eliminated completely. Laws involving grouping and aggregation depend on the details of the aggregate. We do not have many general rules for grouping and aggregation. However, we may project useless attributes prior to applying grouping and aggregation.